I'm working on a replica of the Ohio Scientific Superboard 2. To make it work, I needed a 3.932160 megahertz crystal. Back in the 1970s when the Superboard was designed, crystals were a lot bigger than now. And despite having what is possibly the largest crystal oscillator collection in Europe, I was not able to find one. I could have headed over to eBay or Jameco, wait 6 weeks for shipping and hope they don't send me a Chinese fake filled with sand. Instead I did what any sane person would do. I found my least useful vintage crystal, went through my personal stash of e-waste boards in hopes to find a modern crystal with the correct value. My plan was to just open up the old crystal, put my new crystal inside and then stick the new pins to the epoxy paper in the bottom. It turned out that my modern crystal had way too short legs and the bottom on the old crystal is not epoxy paper, but freaking glass. Just a couple minutes later with my Kniepex, the world's leading brand for pliers. Side cutters, I had the bottom removed, a billion glass splinters on my desk and only some mild injuries. I soldered some longer legs on my new crystal, put it in the old crystal case and then filled the whole thing up with epoxy. So now I have a period accurate crystal in the correct shape with the correct value and knowing my luck, this stuff is probably conductive and it's all gonna blow up in my face and I'm gonna be royally fucked.